Now, the government is planning to audit all roads transferred to the county governments by the national government for maintenance roads and uh, transport. Uh, Cabinet Secretary, rather, uh, Kipchumba Murkomen says some counties may be receiving funds for roads that were transferred to the Kenya Rural Roads Authority. In 2015, the government completed the process of designating county and national roads after years of protracted battles with the Council of Governors. Rural roads were transferred to the Kenya Rural Roads Authority, drawing major condemnation from the counties. Transport Cabinet Secretary Kipchumba Murkomen says the ministry is planning to gazette all roads that have been transferred from the devolved units to the Kenya Rural Roads Authority. What we have done is to make sure that we sign MOUs with counties that request care that you can maintain these roads. We have also expedited the process of graduating the roads from Kenya, through Kenya Roads Boards, handed over from counties to national government and gazetted. So that if we find counties still maintaining a road that is already gazetted national level, it becomes now easy for the Auditor General to point out. Murkomen says the exercise is meant to reduce incidences of double road maintenance allocation of funds. The problem of duplication is real. Uh, but, Mr. Speaker, it's not general. It's specific to certain uh, areas, and it's a problem we are grappling with, even with the ministry. Murkomen says this has seen some counties still receive maintenance disbursements, despite transferring the roads to Kera. This area, especially in marginalized counties, this area of allocation of devolved roads money is still a little bit, the accountability is still is not up to date and it's something we are working with on the ministry and it's good to to acknowledge as it is the road cs has further said the government will carry out a real-time mapping of all roads in the country to examine the extent of damages caused by the recent floods this initiative aims to facilitate timely repair and reconstruction efforts the ministry of roads estimates that that seven billion shillings are needed to repair roads that were damaged by the recent floods benson Ryuba reporting for Prime Edition.